Hey Puffin Group, today is Friday and you have now officially completed five weeks of learning at home and we're on our 10th day of our packet. Today you're going to be doing all of your normal things and by now this should be pretty much routine. We've been doing it every day. And then you're also going to get creative with art or music. If you haven't had a chance to make a card or a poster to thank someone who's working in our community right now, please try to do it today. I want you to keep in mind the things we talked about yesterday in our session about how there's all these different people working to keep us safe, safe and healthy during this time. Now for me at my house, we have a lot of people that deliver mail. So I made a poster that said, thank you delivery people. And I put like a little few pictures on it and I put that up in my window. So that way each time someone comes to deliver something in my house, they get to see that poster and know that we appreciate what they're doing. Okay. Today for writing, you're going to be doing another free write. Sometimes it's kind of hard to think of what to write about. So for me, sometimes I just look around where I am and I write about what I see. So like right now, I could write a story about my lazy dog sleeping in my bed. So I see you. Let me see if I got her in my video. Oh, there she is. Kind of. So I would write about my dog and what she's doing. And maybe I'd write about why am I making the videos from my bed? Which would be, I have loud children, so I make my videos in my room. Okay? So I want you to try your best to do, get creative and write something that you enjoy writing about and then draw that picture to match it. For language arts, our second part for reading has to do with real words versus silly words. This is one of my favorite activities because the silly words always make me laugh and some of them really trick me and I'm like, ooh, is that a word? And I really have to think hard about it. So let's look at this first word here. We have but at bat. This is a real word. So I'd cut this bug out and put it right here. The next one is kib. Kib, that's not a real word. It's trying to copy the word kid. But that has a D at the end. That says kib. So that'd be a silly word, and I glued it into this box here. You're going to insert all those words, whether by whether they're real or they're silly. For math today, I actually put this in a different slide right here. You're going to be cutting out the strip of bees in the bottom as a whole. Do not cut these into tiny little pieces. We're using this as a ruler, so see how mine's all together? That's what you're going to do. You're going to cut around the big edges, not the little lines. That's why they're not dotted. Okay, and then you're going to use this as a ruler. So for me, I would hold this up to my line here at my beehive, and I'd count how many bees tall is the beehive, and I can see it's one, two bees tall, and right here on the line, I'd write two. So if you cut this strip into teeny tiny pieces, you won't be able to measure anything accurately because you won't have the right type of tool. Okay, and then for science today, we have a living or non-living sort. You're gonna sort these different pictures here, whether they're living or non-living. We're getting to the end of our living and non-living animal units. So this is one of our kind of tests. So parents try not to help them at all and really see, do we know what is living versus non-living, okay? I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you haven't had a chance to reply to the Flipgrid, please do so today. I did post a video of me wearing my fancy dress and I even wore a cloak. So go ahead and go check out that video. And if you haven't done our STEM challenge this week, we're doing one about storybooks and building a wolf-proof fence to protect Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. So make sure you check that one out too. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you back on Monday. Thank you.